Hello, uh, welcome to another edition of the Ohio Guys. We are located here at Ohio Con 2014 in Columbus. I'm David Crane from Michigan, and here we are with Justin Cook. How are you doing today? And I'm doing perfect. Thank you for asking. How are you? Uh, I'm doing great. Oh, I shocked him. I threw a question his way. Yep. Um, what was it like? How is it? What was it like working in the industry today? In the uh, well, you know, the industry today is far different than it used to be with all the digital media and the downloads and the, and the download to own streaming video. So it's just a lot faster. And one of the things that I think we, as are presented as our biggest challenge, is how can we get it created faster? That's really the the bottom line now. So Space Dandy is probably the best example where we're actually recording it simultaneously to Japan. Um, what is your favorite show that you've worked on? It's hard to say. It's kind of like saying, what's your favorite kid or, you know, that kind of thing. So, uh, you know, each one of them has their own little unique places in my heart. So to say that I like Fruits Basket better than Yu Yu Hakusho or better than Dragon Ball Z is, that's just too much for me to try to get into. So uh, I'm not going to say, I, I mean, I guess I like them all really equally. Yeah, can't go wrong with that. Um, what was it like performing on Yu Yu Hakusho? Uh, absolutely incredible. Such a large show and a large character. Uh, he had a lot of depth and you just kind of keep learning this guy and meeting him, you know, kind of through all the 112 episodes. And so I, I'd say that the best part about that was just having the longevity of, of the character. Yep. Um, if there's any character you could be, what would it be? And you can mix and match. Any character, huh? You know, I'm going to have to say I think I'm okay being me. So I'm going to be Justin Cook. As the character. Um, what was it like working on Dragon Ball Z? Um, an honor. Uh, I came into that show uh, really actually my first day recording on it was Eric Vale's first session as I recall as Trunks and uh, and so really from that point forward uh, it was just it was just an honor to be around all these people and these veterans in the industry and uh, and just the fact being around so many people who cared so deeply about this show that we were you know, trying to put together and, and it, you know, at that particular time we were in receiving a lot of uh, not so happy compliments about our dub work and uh, just the fact of watching a whole bunch of people who uh, who just kind of really came together and just continued to improve their game and continue to try to make things up, you know, better within this dub and, and I think at the end of the day I think, I think we finally brought it. Um, is there anything that's coming out very soon or anything that has come out recently that you can speak about? Um, well, sure, but you know, uh, the best place to go for all this information for stuff that, that I would know about is uh, going to fun.com. Uh, and uh, it's been redesigned, it's been completely redone. It's a fantastic site now, and really it's kind of a one-stop shop for all your anime needs. Um, what's it like working as a producer in anime today? Y you know, it's... Uh, it's great, and, and I'd be a fool to complain about it. So, uh, But no, there's not a problem at all. And I've got one of the best crews that work uh, at Funimation with the voice directors and ADR engineers uh, and mix engineers. We have, the, we have, in my opinion, the best in the industry. So, uh, so it's a pleasure. Yep. Uh, is there any like social media that you do, like Twitter, Facebook, that the fans can get a hold of you? No, I still do the old school snail mail. So uh, I love getting stuff, and that uh, can be sent uh, uh, via Funimation offices. All right. Uh, Hello, uh, this I'm David Crane. The, David Crane. This is Justin Cook. Here I am. And thank you for watching the Ohio, guys. See you next time. Take it easy.